guys, what is up and welcome back to a brand new video and today I am so excited because we've got a new card to the game so as you guys can see it says the Royal Ghost is released in 14 days. They always have like a soft release through a challenge if uh, you're good enough to win the challenge you can unlock the card 14 days early so last night they put up a thing in uh, News Royale saying big news coming in 10 hours still says 33 minutes but that was the big news they're gonna be posting a video on their YouTube channel that's what that means to like subscribe and stuff but this is the big news they posted a couple of sneak peeks on their uh, Twitter of like the ghosts feet and stuff but here is the challenge I am so excited this is gonna be such an awesome challenge it's a mirror challenge which means it takes skill which means it's not a draft challenge <laughs> And that means that you're going to be able to unlock it. It is a 12 win challenge for those of you that were wondering. Three losses and you're out. So it's going to be pretty tough, but I'm going to keep grinding until I get it because I want to get the Royal Ghost so I can get as many videos out on the Royal Ghost as possible for you guys. So I'm super excited about that. It's going to be awesome. The Royal Ghost is such an awesome card. So um, let's go ahead and walk through these challenges and then... I'm going to give you guys some of my tips and strategies that I'm going to be thinking of going into the Royal Ghost Mirror Challenge. If this video reaches 100 likes, I'll make a video of me doing the Royal Ghost Challenge live for you guys or I'll live stream it. So 100 likes for me to make a video on it and 150 likes for a live stream. Let's see if we can get it guys. Come on, you guys can do it. So let's get straight into this, the Royal Ghost Mirror Challenge. Let's click on special events because sometimes they hide stuff in there that we don't see. So let's go ahead and read through this. So uh, both players have the same deck. Of course, that's what the mirror challenge is um, and the same starting cards. So that's awesome. A lot of people say that uh, the starting hand of your deck could potentially ruin the outcome of your match. So that's really good that you have the same starting hand. Um, every deck contains a royal ghost and a mirror. Three losses and you're out. So you guys are going to be able to play the Royal Ghost. So huge shout out to Supercell. We're all going to get to play the Royal Ghost. Another tip I have for you guys. Three losses and you're out, obviously. Another tip I have for you guys. They always drop a quest right when the challenge comes out. If there's no quest for, for the Royal Ghost Mirror Challenge, it's probably going to be like use the Royal Ghost ten times or get six crowns in the Royal jo Ghost Mirror Challenge and stuff like that. If it's not out yet, don't do the quest yet. Wait a couple hours because it always ends up coming out. You're going to want to wait and get the free quest because once you complete the challenge, you're not going to go back and complete it just for the uh, quest. So um, that happened to me and a couple of friends last time I did the quest. Or I did the challenge and completed it before they released the quest. They always release it a couple hours after the challenge is live, which is weird, but um, that's the way it is. So if there's no quest out, give it a couple hours, maybe do it the next day and um, the quest will be there and you'll be able to do both the challenge and the quest at the same time because like I said you don't want to finish the challenge and not be able to get into the quest so um let's go ahead and look at this so uh let's look at these rewards they're pretty juicy we've got some chests guys and as you see we've got a legendary card at the end so uh 500 gold at two wins not bad at all uh, four wins, you get a thousand gold. Moving on up, getting getting a little more gold. Six wins, you're gonna get a giant chest plus gold. Don't forget, there's gold in the giant chest. Uh, eight wins is gonna be a magical chest plus gold yet again, and then ten wins, a legendary chest. No gold in the legendary chest though, but that's gonna be a free legendary card for you guys. And then at twelve wins, you're gonna unlock the royal ghost so i'm just so excited for this card i'm really excited to see how these interactions go um i haven't seen it used too much the only content you guys have seen of it on youtube so far are people in private servers which i really recommend not uh using private servers number one it ruins the experience to play clash royale and it's kind of like slapping clash royale in the face so um and then on top of all of those rewards at 12 wins you also get 11,000 gold and 550 cards, which contains at least 5 epics and 55 rares. So, um, I'm really excited for this challenge. Really good rewards. Like I said, you unlock the Royal Ghost. Super excited about that. And let's talk some strategy. So, going into the Mirror Challenge, obviously it says you have the same starting hand and you have the same exact cards. So, uh, the first couple minutes, like the first like minute, minute and a half, Typically, I like to mirror exactly what my opponent's doing unless they really don't know what they're doing Then you're able to take advantage. You want to play everything on your side of the arena That's my number one tip for this challenge play everything on your side of the arena You want to be able to have your tower to defend because if you go offensive And you're playing on their side of the arena first you go way offensive 
then they have the same exact cards as you, so they're easily going to counter it. And number two, they've got their tower putting in extra damage, whereas if it's not on your side, so your tower is not putting damage. You want to play this whole match on your side to build a big counter push and push over to their side. Otherwise, that's what's going to happen to you. You're going to go on their side, have a huge push. They're going to shut it down with the same exact cards you have, except they have the um, they have their towers to deal extra damage as well. So they're going to end up just like shredding through your cards and your push and then they're going to come back with a counter push and you're not going to have much elixir to defend it so number one tip don't get too offensive make sure you play a little defensive and bring the um like battle onto your side of the arena get that advantage of using your princess towers for help maybe king's tower if you have a nato to activate it but yeah that's the number one tip the second tip i definitely recommend like mirroring what they do and make sure you use your mirror card really wisely. You don't want to be mirroring the wrong card. If they mirror something that shouldn't be mirrored, don't mirror that card. Mirror a different card that you think could possibly counter their mirror or give you an advantage to counter push on them by mirroring a different card. You don't want to be wasting your mirror. A mirror is actually very important in this challenge because that's what actually changes like your cycle and what cards you have in your hand and stuff like that. So uh, as as silly as the mirror can be sometimes, it's really important in this challenge. So uh, I recommend using your mirror to the best ability that you possibly can. Getting an advantage with that mirror accidentally spit on my computer screen. But yeah, that's going to be another big tip that I have for the mirror. Um, when you do get into this challenge, it's of course going to be a regular challenge and it's gonna have overtime. So eventually someone's gonna win. You may tie, but you don't wanna mirror them the whole entire time. Otherwise you're gonna get into a long drawn out tie and um, it's not fun for anyone. So uh, once you start seeing them make mistakes, like you wanna mirror them for the first minute or so. Once you start seeing them make mistakes, obviously don't make the same mistakes they do. You want to be able to take advantage and exploit those mistakes that they make and that's what's going to let you get ahead while you do have the same cards and it's the same level and all that kind of stuff. So um, let's go over a couple of things that I've said already. Number one, make sure you play on your side of the arena. Number two, make sure you use your mirror as efficiently as possible. Three, you want to be able to... Um, you want to be able to like take advantage of their weaknesses, exploit the mistakes that they do make. So those are my three biggest tips. Number four, don't be scared to use cards you've never used before because I know a lot of you, you don't have certain cards leveled up to tournament standard like myself. So uh, you don't use every card in the game, but of course this is random. You're going to get random decks. So um, you want to be able to be comfortable with your cards. Don't be like scared to use cards that you've never used before. Like for example, one card I always get scared to use is the Three Musketeers because I don't have a lot of experience with it so I always end up messing it up but you can't be scared. You have to be confident going into your match and know what your cards are going to do and that's really going to help you out. Don't be scared. Don't like say that you're not going to drop a card. Just if you don't really know, mirror what they're doing and follow what they're doing. And as you get the hang of the match and what's going on, then you're going to want to start taking um, advantage of their mistakes and not mirroring what they're doing. And you're going to be able to take the W. So that's pretty simple. That's pretty much all the tips that I do have for the Royal Ghost Mirror Challenge. Unfortunately, I can't give you guys decks for the challenge. I can't give you gameplay because it's not out yet. You guys have seen Mirror Challenges. It's nothing special. Um, but... The Royal Ghost is in this challenge, so I'm super excited about that. So, um, yet again, we're going to be taking advantage of our Princess Towers, fighting on our side of the match. You're going to want to be mirroring everything for the first minute or so. You want to take advantages of their weaknesses and um, be comfortable with your cards. Don't be scared to play cards that you haven't played before. As for the Royal Ghost goes, like I said, I've never played it. I haven't really seen too much gameplay on it. Um, what it basically does, it sneaks up. Uh, nothing can target it because it's invisible and then once something's within a certain range of it whether it be the tower or another troop it uh like wakes up and activates and starts attacking and once that troop is dead it'll go invisible again and start moving forward uh with his life and go towards the tower so um i don't know the interactions that well with the royal ghost because it's not out yet obviously and i don't really watch that private server gameplay so that's gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I appreciate all the support that we have had lately. Like I said, I'm going to be posting probably another Arena of Valor video today, double uploading. So yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy Arena of Valor as much as I do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Clash Royale content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!